Hi everyone. In the last section, we studied one sample t-test. So you got a good image of testing. So now that I would like to give an overview of chapter five. So chapter five introduces the several tests and I would like to categorize it. So last time that we have the sample x1 to xn and we have mean parameter mu. So test is whether mu is equal to zero or mu is equal, not, mu is not equal to zero or sometimes mu is larger than zero. In general, this zero can be a different number. So mu is equal to mu naught is the null hypothesis. And we studied one sample t-test, but that is based on the assumption that x1 to xn are normal. So under normal assumption, we studied one sample t-test. So today, at first, we studied study the, this test under a more flexible setting. So we don't really need any parametric distribution assumption. So it's called non-parametric test. And the Will Coxon signed, signed the lank test is discussed. In later sections that we studied, two sample tests. So we have x1 to xn and also y1 to ym. So each of the groups, so the x1 to xn and y1 to ym have some sample mean and population mean. So we can test whether mu x is equal to mu y or again, it's mu x is not equal to mu y or mu x is larger than mu y. So in general, we can do uh, null we, we can have null hypothesis y is equal to d, but that is not very really a common case. So just I would write mu x is equal to mu y. So we, we have the two sample t test. We have two versions in section 5.3 and also non-parametric version. So that is Mann Whitney test or Wilcoxon sign um, rank sum test. And um, so these are main topics. And sometimes that we discuss X1 to Xn and corresponding observations. So this is just a kind of special case, but the X1 corresponds to Y1. xn corresponds to yn. So in this case, um, we have a slightly different test. So that is the paired t-test and also the paired version of Wilcoxon test. So this is, we don't really discuss this and this is not also important either, but um, we discuss it briefly in section 5.6. So paired means, means just observations are paired. So the one requirement is the number of observations are the same for X and Y, but the, not only that, the X and Y should be corresponding to each other. For example, X1 is some data from the left lung of volunteers and YI is the right lungs of volunteers. And also that we discuss when we have two sample, whether sigma x is equal to sigma y. So this is the test for variance. And we discuss f test. And non-parametric version, we don't really discuss this in this chapter. So this is an overview of chapter five. So we have studied one sample t-test. So the, you have the, a good image of testing at this point, but the, um, here I explained the, what other tests we discuss in chapter five. 